Dear friends, can I invite you for all the prayer before I speak today? Father in heaven, I thank you and I praise you for this beautiful day. Thank you for your son, Jesus Christ. He is soon coming and may we be prepared and may we be ready. May our hearts be right. Fill us with forgiveness so we can forgive others as you forgive us. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. So dear friends, I'm, I'm just uh, trying to get out from this um, parking lot. I'd like to talk to you about um, the word occupy or the statement that I, that I hear from some uh, Adventist. Occupy till I come. What does it mean? Personally, it means to me um, prepare our hearts and our in our own minds and prepare others as well. It means that um, we live guided by the principle of contentment, live it guided by the principle of living an, an honest, uh, an honest life, not for profit or for gain. Living in order for others to see that the Lord Jesus Christ is with us the Lord is with us that's the secret of Joseph's success what's happening is some Adventist or um, those who profess to wait for the Lord Jesus Christ to return they are talking about occupy till I come but they are saying that the Lord will not come even in a hundred years or uh, a thousand years so they are telling us that it's you know it may not be in, in this lifetime or in this generation um, so they occupy by uh, doing their business and and they are forgetting the uh, the warnings of the scriptures the the warning uh, uh, of the dangers of accumulating wealth the dangers of stressing yourself in your work the dangers of having a bad relationship in your workplace or having this covetous spirit or the uh, the desire for for uh, uh, wealth and supremacy, so to speak. In, in short, why while we occupy ourselves, we have to examine uh, the, uh, the 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 matter in our heart or the the reason why we are occupied. Yes, in theory, we believe that the Lord Jesus Christ will come. Some Adventists are are. are are fervent enough to, to say, yeah, the Lord Jesus Christ will come. But their life and their actions and the way they conduct themselves in their workplaces, in, the, in, the, in their homes, may not necessarily reflect the truth about Christ's imminent return. That's why I, I believe in the life of Ellen G. White because she professed uh, to believe in the, the Lord Jesus Christ and she believed with all her heart that Christ is coming soon and she lived her life Christ-like life. Her neighbors and those who know her can attest to her spirit, uh, Christ-like spirit. So I think that's the, for me, that's the meaning of uh, occupy till I come, meaning everything that we do is connected to to pleasing the Lord Jesus Christ everything that we do is connected to can this can this action or can this um, what do you call this uh, can this activity bring honor and glory to Jesus Christ our Lord or can others see that I'm the Lord is with me or I'm uh, living living my life in a in a Christ like manner so and that will convert into living an honest life, living a contented life, living a, a life full of humility, living a life full of forgiveness, a life of love, and a life of, of, of simplicity. And that money, you will now understand money in the words, occupy till I come, money becomes the, the, the medium or the, the, uh, the material that you will use in order for 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 other people to see that the Lord Jesus Christ is with you and that he is coming again coming again and that you will live a, a healthy wholesome and a happy life contented life because now you understand the perspective of, of the wor the words that says occupy till I come so may we um, deeply understand this um, situation we're in the, uh, the, the the times that we are living in Yes, it has been uh, more than 150 years uh, 
or more than a thousand years, more than uh, six thousand years, the Lord has not returned. But that doesn't mean He will not return. He said He will come. It's our faith to believe that He will really come. All right? May God continue to bless you.